this, I feel like I can't, uh, we've had a million haircuts here, but what made you get into what you're doing? Like, how did you, I guess, at what age did you start and what made you start it? Well, you know, I went, started getting into college. I took uh, general business courses and after a certain period of time, I was at, you know, a fork where they offered, you know, now you got to break into either commercial, real estate, banking, insurance. Restart. Mother <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's never dropped a comb in all my hair. All right. Okay. So, Chris, we've had a bunch. I almost dropped it again. I'm. Give me another shot. Just, just go with it. Let it drop. All right. all right, Chris. So, we've had a bunch of haircuts together, but I found that I really never asked you. Like, I know what you do, but how did you get into it? Like, where did you start? So uh, when I was in college, I was taking general business courses and I got to a certain point where they asked me to break off into either insurance, banking, or real estate. And my family, um, in particular my cousin Dennis, I always had known was in real estate. And ironically, when I was 19 years old, mm -hmm. he approached me and asked me what I was doing with my life and you know I said I was in college I was taking business courses at 19 at, at 19 and um, so I said well you know I'm at this point where they're asking me what to do and he said hey would you ever consider doing real estate you know he was always very successful so I said sure you know I'll listen to what you have to say so I went over to his house one day and literally he started talking to me about the business and um, I just literally I don't know I, I, I liked what he said um, I was one of these types of people. I didn't love school, to be honest. Uh, I didn't really want to I can relate. Good at college. Um, I was more one of those people that you just show, show me what to do and let me, let me do it. You know, I, I, I'm more of a driven type person in that respect. So, you know, I said, you know, what do I need to do? And he directed me to, you know, why don't you get your real estate license? Come in here. We'll start teaching you the business. And literally that's how I got started. And I was 19 years old and, um, uh, I am 52, and I've been working ever since. So what was the, I guess, what was like the pivotal point? Because obviously, like, if you're starting at 19, it's not like you got a boatload of money. You know what I mean? Zero. Right. Yeah. So Zero, zero debt. Yeah, or so zero, uh, if someone debt. wants to, like, get into real estate, and they don't have any money, and all they know is, you know, I feel like a lot of people want to get into it because they see, like, the, you know, the perks of financial freedom and you know, blah, 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 like all like the upside, but like, yeah. how would someone get into it who had nothing? Well, I guess, I guess the question would be, you know, what part of real estate do they want to get into? They want to, do they want to sell real estate or do they want to own real estate? I mean, the important thing for me, I guess at the time was, um, I was looking just mainly at brokering real estate, um, because I think I was actually too young to even thought, you know, think to myself that I was going to start owning real estate. What's brokering? Well, I mean, selling real estate oh, okay. to people. So working in an aspect of, you know, trading properties for people. Um, so I think, you know, if you're 19 years old, you, you know, don't really have a lot of money. Um, the fortunate part for me was I didn't have a lot of overhead either, you know, so. Um, you had nothing to lose. I had nothing to lose. Um, real estate sales though, straight commission. It's really, uh, it's not a great way to start. But uh, again, it really, I believe that, you know, the most successful people in real estate are people that are really self-motivated and driven. And um, I had that, that drive. My mother was, is my inspiration. You know, she, she raised uh, myself and my two older sisters. Uh, I lost my father when I was young. And uh, she worked, you know, two jobs to, to raise us. You know, we lived very, very modestly. Um, and I think my work ethic came from her. You know, and, 100%. and I saw, you know, the life that she provided for us, which, you know, wasn't a lot. We didn't have a lot, but, you know, we were But very, you had enough. I had enough. Yeah. I had enough and I had, you know, I never knew any different. Like, I never knew that I didn't have a lot. Um, but, you know, I think that that inner drive that she instilled in me just, you know, made me, you know, put my head down and I just went at it. 
So for inspirational purposes only, what do you own now? Like how many units do you have? And So I have uh, about 125 units. Um, I own part of this building that you're sitting in right now, which... Uh, A modest 12-story building in downtown Buffalo. Which, uh, you know, I had sold to some very good clients of mine that uh, as I started going through the property, when I was selling it to them, you know, I fell in love with it. It's got tremendous history and um, architecture and just uh, it's had a ton of potential. So um, when we were doing all the inspections and due diligence, I, I literally fell in love with it. And, you know, I asked them if, you know, myself and uh, my cousin Dennis, you know, if they wouldn't mind if we came in as a minority partner and they were fine with it. So, you know, uh, now I'm sitting in a building that, that we own. Awesome. Uh, and obviously, it's even better now that you're here. 